can't believe somebody broke into my house and stole all my fruit. I'm peachless. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely awful. Don't forget, comment your dad jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Chromecast HD and the previous version, which is the Chromecast with Google TV. And we're just going to take a look and see what the differences are and is one better than the other? Or did Google just waste their time releasing the new Chromecast HD? Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will ask is comment down below, do you own a Chromecast with Google TV? And what are your thoughts on it? Do you like it? Does something annoy you with it? Do you like the interface? And do you think the Chromecast HD is a good option? If you do see me, hands have got white on them. It's because I've been painting. Hate painting, but I've got to do it. <laughs> right, so simply plugging the devices in, just a fresh boot to see if one launches faster than the other. And you'd expect the 4K Chromecast to do better than the Chromecast HD because it's got a better CPU, it's got more RAM. But that's why we're doing this test because I know a lot of people are going to be wondering, do you pay the extra for the Chromecast to get 4K resolution or is the Chromecast HD a better option? So when booting up, it looked like the 4K Chromecast was setting up a lot faster. Well, not a lot faster, but it did look like it were winning it. But... What I did find is not all of the home page loaded. Whereas on the Chromecast HD, everything was there. I could scroll all the way down the page. On the Chromecast 4K, I did have to wait a little bit to be able for all the home screen to populate. So a couple of little different results there, but I think the HD did quite well. And it is worth noting as well, both devices were factory reset before making this video to give it a fair comparison. So if I just jump down here, obviously both devices are using Google TV, very similar to Android TV. As you can see, we've got the home screen, we've got some recommended content, you've got your apps here, can keep going down. One thing I don't like about Google TV is this paid suggestions here. So £15.99, £13.99. You do see content from such as Disney Plus and iPlayer and Apple TV, but on my home screen, I only want to see content that I've subscribed to. I don't want paid content being shoved down my throat. That's one thing I do dislike with Google TV. And then if you keep going down, it's simply loads of suggested content. Then at the top, you've got films, TV shows, your apps. Obviously, both devices use the Google Play Store for Android TV. It is a limited Google Play Store, but every app inside here works on this device. Whereas if you were to have the full Google Play Store, some apps might require an air mouse and that gets on your tits. Now, if we take a quick look at navigating, this is where I just literally sit there clicking arrows as fast as I can to see if it starts jumping and see if there's any issues. And as you can see, all I'm doing up, down, left, right, and it's working absolutely fine. So when it comes to navigation, even the drop down in RAM to one and a half gigabyte on the HD, it's coping very well with tasks like this. Another test we like to do is just how fast the devices are at opening different apps. Now, the Chromecast HD, you would expect it to be a tiny bit slower. And that's why we're doing this test, just to see if there is any difference. And as you can see, par on par, it's pretty much, well, it's exactly the same. So no difference there when you're opening apps. We'll try it one more time, opening up YouTube, to see if there's much difference there. And as you can see, when we're opening them, tiny bit faster on the 4K, but it's not really noticeable, is it? One thing I did find, though, is at the top of the Chromecast HD inside YouTube, we've got a big advert, whereas on the 4K version, we've only got a little advert. And I came back on the Chromecast 4K just to check some things, and as you can see, we have now got a big ad at the top, the same as on the Chromecast HD. So there's no differences when it comes to what ads show, and that it must just be a case of you get what you're given. So next up, inside YouTube, just playing some 4K video. When I say 4K video, it's just the same that we play inside all our device reviews. And when you're playing content back on these devices, it runs absolutely fine. As you can see, we can skip through the videos. It doesn't take long to carry on playing. And then the only thing different is the resolution. Obviously, the Chromecast HD has a max resolution of 1080p, whereas the 4K Chromecast has a max resolution of 4K. 
Now, the devices also look exactly the same, so there's no change there. And then they use the same remote, which in my opinion, can I get a focus? Yep. <laughs> in my opinion, I think it's a bit dog shit, but it's exactly the same remote as the previous version. If we take a quick look at the pricing, as we can see, the 4K version, that's £60, and the Chromecast HD is £35. So you're saving £25 by going with the HD version. Chromecast HD is only available in white, whereas the 4K version, that's got two other pastel colours to choose from. And then another one of the main differences is the 4K version is 4K resolution, and then the HD is up to 1080p HDR. And also in the Chromecast HD, we've got a bit of a lower end CPU and also only 1.5 gigabyte of RAM, whereas the 4K version's got 2 gigabyte. Both have 8 gigabyte of internal storage. So we could do a lot of different tests, but I do think what's the point? That's just a general look at the differences between the Chromecast and the Chromecast HD. Now, I were quick to slay the Chromecast HD saying... Why have they even released that? But if 4K resolution is not a massive thing for you, and it might just be for a spare device in one of the bedrooms or a different room, then the Chromecast HD at £35 really isn't that bad. Like, I didn't notice any difference when navigating on both devices, when opening apps. They were running pretty much the same. But it will be interesting to see how it performs over time. Will the Chromecast HD start to slow down a bit? But at the moment, there's really no difference between the two. And that's why I like to know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Get down there, get typing. And then, obviously, if you get a streaming device, it's also best to use a VPN. IP Vanish is just one that I recommend, and I will leave links in the description down below if you are interested in using one. And what a VPN does is it changes your IP address. Your internet service provider can't see what you're watching online. You can change your location to appear like you're from the US. A lot of different benefits to using a VPN. If you're interested, all links will be in the description down below. And yeah, I hope this video has helped at least two people because then it was worth making. £35, not a bad price, is it really? A good stocking filler. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm watching this. And I'll see you soon. ta -da! Now, if I just jumped out... Just what? <laughs> Just, I don't know. So then I test that. No, what? Test that. So I will be interested to see your thoughts and opinion. What? Opinion. <laughs>